Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inkson, I'm from IGS Electronics and today uh, we are going to update the firmware to, my, to the PLC, to S300 series PLC. That's what we're going to do today, so I was pretty much playing around with the uh, testing some cards and things like that and I realized, oh, my PLC is at 3.3.1 uh, version and I quickly jumped on the Siemens and I will look at what is the latest, what is the maximum possible firmware version for this PLC, which was a 3.3.17. So I thought, might as well just get it updated. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do now. So uh, if you wanna do it yourself, so the firmware, upgrading the firmware is always, always recommended because it does uh, fix a lot of issues that PLC had already and Siemens had fixed it within the firmware and things like that. So always if you can, it's a good idea to update your firmware. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing today. So without further ado, Let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing what we need to do is find our CPU. So first, let's go to Siemens Mall. Okay, so that's the one we need to go into there. And we need the part number of actual uh, CPU. Why are we are taking so long? Oh. Oh, there we go. So in there, type in your part number. I already have my part number saved on my clipboard. So search for your product itself. As you can see, two of them come up under this part number specifically. Uh, this is a 7AB. That's not the one I've got. I've got the 5BG04. Yep, that's mine. So once you find your CPU, go into the service and support for downloads. So once it opens that, once it opens it, as you can see the product is in there, then you need to enter type, you need to type to narrow it a little bit down, obviously it's all this there in the list, but to narrow down to what we're looking for is uh, downloads, let's go on to downloads and look for something like a firmware, there it is, my one is right there. So let's click onto that one and from there on uh, pretty much Siemens starts running you through. When updating the firmware, always update the latest version available for the product of its respective article number. And so on and so on and so on. So latest firmware, it is a V3.317. Uh, and I am 3.31. Ooh, we are old. Alright, so let's get this updated then. So uh, let's get down to the downloads. It tells you all the blah blah, blah how you do your microcard. And there's an online, it pretty much tells you in here. Uh, online update firmware is possible with step seven, V5.3 or higher, which is cool. And this, it gives you all the necessary information, what you need to, the, to do the actual, um, uh, actual update. So there we go, that's all the steps you need to take. So we're gonna do that on a video. So, and the latest one in here, so here's your, the, the, the file is, is right in here. So, uh, license terms and copyrights, blah, blah, blah. So just download uh, this file. And again, don't forget, guys, you do need to be registered with Siemens for you to be able to get anything from them. So, uh, and registered and approved. So do make sure that is the, the case. So we're gonna be going for V3.317. I already have downloaded, as you see, is down there. And I already have extracted it and put in a, uh, file in here after that so let's go on to our TI portal uh, if you go into uh, online and uh, diagnostics right in here by click double clicking on that one it will open up uh, this window in, in here and go into the functions and firmware update from there on, in the firmware update, it tells you uh, online data, so this is what you, what you got in here, and from there on, it says browse. So we need to find our file, and the one we're looking for is a K-O-M-P, blah, blah, whatever that is. So open that one. Once it opens up, it tells you firmware version is uh, V3.3.17, and it says no restrictions, so blah, blah, blah. So only thing we need to do is run the update, and Let's run it. So to load firmware file, that we, oh, we need to put the, forgot about that. So let's put that in the stop mode. We did it for him. So run it again. And there we go. So if all goes well, he will start running. Is because uh, yeah, at the moment what it does, it checks. So make sure that the, 
uh, module itself is compatible. So uh, let's wait. Just a moment. Is still thinking. There we go. So it says about seven minutes left. So I shall see you in the end of this process. Here we are. So we are on our last seconds. It was not kidding. It literally took seven minutes. And if he's gonna now play with me when I started up the recording again. Come on, here we go, and that is done. Activate firmware on target. Please wait. This wait. Oh, another few minutes. I shall see you in a bit. Yeah, that's done. So uh, the firmware blah 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 was target successful to module blah 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 blah. Activated on the module. Okay, thank you very much. So now everything should technically, and it is. Taking his time. So here we go. So he's reloading. Should go online in a minute. And here we go. So our firmware now is a V3.3.17. And now, as per Siemens recommendations, let's go into diagnostics. Let's have a look module exit, blah, blah, blah. And let's a look, look into a buffer. And no problems has been reported. So good. So everything is flying. So let's check if the program, because sh technically you should not uh, touch your program at all. So this is the program, and I know I left this one in here on uh, on a twenty-seven thousand. So let's see if I by clicking on it, looks like when I click on the drive, the drive's got zero uh, frequency. So let's uh, put this on. So we must have reset that data. So here we go, as you can see, it has reset, once it was doing the firmware update, it has reset the, the analog values and things like that. So that's something to look up for, but I don't think that's going to be a big problem to anyone. So other than that, so yes, you don't really need to, uh, it's, it's always a good idea to back up your program when you do any firmware updates, but it, it should not touch your program whatsoever. So let me uh, double click on that one. Let's put that on 27,000. So and... Uh, yeah, whole program, everything is functioning as it was. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is firmware update. Hopefully, it gives you a good idea. And uh, now we know how to do it. It's always a good idea to update your firmware once the new firmware comes out because often when the firmware have been released, the yeah, Siemens uh, is finding a lot of um, glitches and all sorts of problems that uh, people have been reporting. And those firmware, as always, from any product, they bring in a uh, you know the fixes you know it's just update up, update it to make sure it doesn't happen so it's always good to update your uh, uh, CPU and as you can see the latest one is a uh, 3.3.17 and that ladies and gentlemen thank you much for watching and uh, don't forget to like the video if you do like the video and do subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course if you look if you uh, like what we're doing it so yeah thank you much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.